see. I also um, got stabbed in the back up here twice. I got that when I was having a straightener, having a straightener with some little rat, and I've got him. See, when I was saying I go to straighteners by myself, so when this kid shouting me name about saying he wants it, I've gone to him by myself, but he's been there with his uncles and his dad. So I've had the straightener with him, got him, got him doing him. He's on the floor, he's getting damaged, he knows he's on his way, you know what I mean? Next minute, I just get stabbed in the back of the shoulder, pulled off and thrown up a wall. The knife gets given to the kid who have just been battering. And I just get this mad power from somewhere, struggle away from the uncle and the dad and just get away from it. And then I've been stabbed here, right there. Got a collapsed lung and a punctured lung off that one there, mate. So it is what it is, lad. You know, I've suffered. I've had, I've been stabbed up, I've been shot, I've been shot at. I've had people sat next to me putting graves. I've had people putting comas. It's horrible, mate. And all I'm trying to do, lad, is encourage you to come away from that life. Because don't think, don't think that you, you, you can't get caught up in that. Trust me, you can be leading a nice life and then all of a sudden it just goes boom. The violence kicks in and you all go to jail. Know what I'm saying? And that's the way it is, mate. Have you given up crime? What do you think, UK Swindon? Do you think I'd be sat in a dungeon like this if he hadn't? Let's have it right, brother. Come on. Do you think if I was still in the game, then Rats would be talking about me the way they are now? Don't get it twisted, lad. Mad rats running around, cutting young fellas. It is what it is, bro, innit? I encourage you not to use knives. I encourage you not to use guns. I definitely encourage you not to start selling... Have you ever had a boxing fight? Not a professional one. But I've had a spar with I've had a spar with one of the best boxers in, in Liverpool. And if he wouldn't have career up, he would have been a worldwide global star, mate. You hear all these people go on the Solly. Well I went on the Solly for about four months. I think the first spar he had was with a boxer called David Burke. And because it was fresh in the game, and he wasn't, he was just fucking bam, 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 biffing me all over the place. So I just went into one, got him in the corner, started throwing bombs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then some fella called Franny Smith jumping, stop it, stop it, split it up. You can't go like this, it's sparring. <laughs> What's it like being stabbed? Why do you want to even talk about what's it like being stabbed? It's mad, mate. You don't feel it. You don't feel it, mate. Till later on. Obviously, you're going to feel it if it touches a bone. But if it goes right through into your heart, whatever, you don't feel it, mate. Like when I got stabbed here, it was during a, it was during a knife fight. So basically, this is what's going on. Years and years and years ago, there was a cold-blooded murderer called Daniel Reed. He stabbed a Liverpool doorman to death. He got away with it, like, you know, he never got convicted for it. But he stabbed a, uh, um, he stabbed a doorman in the city centre to death, yeah? He never went away for it. I was around him then, we were like mates. So basically I was a Joey for Danny Reed. I was one of them kids that was being used and abused, but I was being used and abused by Danny Reed. So I was getting used and abused for time by him. I was doing all my going to birth and head, giving kids this, da -da 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 -da, doing all my And that, that was happening for like a year. And then I'm still doing it with him. And then out the blue from nowhere, he said he's going on holiday or somewhere and he promised me that I'd be going with him. 
And then all of a sudden, he took some other kid called Rudy. You might know Rudy some years. One who's on his souls now or involved in whatever. He's a good kid, that Rudy. But anyway, he took Rudy with him. And then just left me to wait for them to come back. So I thought, do you think you're all using like that? I knew where he stashed his dough. He used to put his money in a cereal box in the kitchen. So we just weighed his flat door and went in there, took five and a half quid. As you do. Went out, rigged myself out. <whistles> went and bought myself a little Clio valve, bombing round in it, not giving a... <whistles> bombing round Anfield, doing me... Smoking me weed, thinking I'm rich with this five and a half quid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it went from... Me just cruising round in my new black Clio, Paula Shark jumper on, all my new rig outs and that. Loving it. Defo. And as I'm, driving, as I'm driving up Robson Street, I see this car coming towards me on the opposite road and it's packed out. And it's only Danny Reed and his homies, isn't it? <laughs> like a little search party looking for me. But they must have thought it was going to run. <laughs> I just start, I just fronted it, yeah, and what? Pulled the car up, jumped out, bam! Danny Reed's there with a knife. So I've got a knife in my glovey. Get my knife out. You are on it? So like this now. <laughs> Trying to stab each other. But what are you doing, the crafty bastard? Now let me, let me start it again, right? None of us have had a knife. When we've jumped out the cars, he's had a knife hidden. You know, up his sleeve. So I'm just thinking it's a fisty cuff. So this is exactly what happened. I'm just thinking it's a fisty cuff. So I've jumped out and come on, let's have it then, you little boom, boom. Do you know I could bang? I was knocking men out left, right and centre back then. You know, I was a kid, but I was putting men in comas with me punches. So they knew I could bang, you know what I mean? So I'm having it with him, throw a little few bombs. Next minute, I just get a body shot. But I'm just thinking it's punches. So I'm carrying on me. Next minute, I just feel the blood making me woolly top get heavy, and I'm thinking, wow, he's punching me here. You're on it. So straight away, I've gone for my knife, and I've had a big John Rambo knife, you know, a proper Rambo knife. I'm not on about the London compass at the top and matchsticks and all that. No, the proper sh I've pulled this out, so now it's a knife fight. And then all I'm here, and in the, in the, I don't want to go to jail. I'm here, and Nino, Nino, Nino. You know, the busies are coming, and I've just thrown my knife, and he's thrown his knife, and the both knives went into the same garden. They've got off, but I've stayed because I'm losing breath. Now I'm there, mate, and I'm blood pissing out. This is what happened, people. Blood pissing out of my lungs. I'm sitting on the curb, I'm going in and out of consciousness. It was weird, mate. I go to hospital with them. When I miss in hospital, they patch me up and then I refuse, refuse anything. I just get out of there. They wanted what they wanted to do, and I said, "You're not doing that," because I had a collapsed lung and a punctured lung. I was struggling to breathe, and they believed that I had fluid leaking out and going wherever. So what they wanted to do was ram a thing in there, you know, so I could breathe. Listen. <laughs> so that's when I got stabbed off Daniel Reed, ah. It was funny. Anyway, he's dead now. You know, he died in his sleep through a heart attack, sniffing coke and taking steroids. So I have, I've been in the wars, me lad. I don't think I haven't been in the wars. I've been kidnapped. I've been tied to a chair and terrified. You know, don't start getting shit twisted, mate. Now, this is in fucking 96 or something. So don't get that shit twisted neither, all right? <laughs> this isn't last year or the year before, so don't try and twist it like the majorities will do. You understand what I mean?